National Singles Week. It's amazing I'm single. <laughs> Cuffing season is right around the corner. How are you single after singing like that? <laughs> uh, however, our next guest says relationships matter, and we are looking to her for some advice. With us this morning is podcast host and author Chanel Scott. So good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, you know, thank you for having me. Great to have you here. And there are a lot of folks that say, oh, I want a relationship. Yes. But how do you know when you're actually ready for one? You know what, before you even consider wanting to be in a relationship, you need to tap into purpose. Mm. Knowing what your God-given assignment is, why am I here, what is my identity, so that when you get disappointed, you're not going to fall apart. Mm. You're like, I'm good with me. If you don't like me, I'm okay with that because mm -hmm. I like me. Right. Yeah. right. Know who you are, know what you're about. Be happy with yourself. Exactly. Be happy with yourself, and then that way you don't attach your value or live vicariously through the potential of what someone right. could be rather than living in reality when it oh, doesn't work out. Chanel. Okay. <laughs> okay. Preach, lady. So once you figure that part out, right? Yes. What are the good foundations and building blocks then to a good relationship? Self-worth, value, knowing your value, mm -hmm. right? So often we look at, we put more value on other people. We love, like, the age-old question, do you love yourself? Mm -hmm. Instinctively, you're going to say what? Yes. yes, I love myself. Mm -hmm. But to really know if you love yourself, look at how you allow others to treat you. If you allow someone else to mishandle you or mistreat you, then you have to question, do I really love myself? Mm -hmm. So you got to love yourself. You mm -hmm. have to find self-worth in yourself. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so then you find your self-worth. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And you go looking around. Mm -hmm. Some people turn, a lot, of, I shouldn't say yeah. some, a lot of people are turning to online dating, where okay. people may be representing themselves as something else. Yes. But what are your thoughts about online dating? I have a different perspective on online okay. dating. Okay. I don't advocate for it. But if someone wants to do it, then I would say go to the paid subscriptions, where people actually pay money because these people have actually invested their money, their time, they're doing the biography properly, they're putting in the correct information versus the free ones. You're going to get anything. You're going to get catfishing. Yeah. You know, I've had, I had an experience where you choose someone based on their physical appearance. They're attractive, but when you meet them, their disposition is completely mm -hmm. different. You're like, is this the same person? Meaning I, they look that way. They, they look good, but right, it's but just like, like when you see them in person, it doesn't align. Right. It's a completely different person because you can't judge a person's character. You can't judge those things just by looking at a picture. And vice versa, you might meet someone out who is not as attractive, but you have a conversation. And you're like, mm. I actually, you know, have something here. You right. know, you're interesting. I want to know more. So online dating, it's a very tricky thing. I personally do not advocate for it but if someone wants to try it go for the paid subscriptions. Yeah. So what do you do then right what if you don't do the online route because the old school of like going to a place sitting down by yourself and like yes. making eyes locking eyes across the bar that doesn't work it doesn't work and it doesn't no. happen anymore just Absolutely. Simply. so what's your what's your advice so my advice on that is you heard me say you got to focus on your purpose yeah. doing what God has called you to do operating okay. in your assignment so when you're operating in that purpose you're going to connect with like-minded people mm -hmm. you're going to connect with people who have similar goals so when you're working on a project you're not even thinking about relationship mm -hmm. but you're authentically connecting with this person based on similar values and then you're like, that person's interesting. Oh, mm -hmm. you know, okay. and so now you've met someone who you have similarities with. That is how I advocate and for And you're praying they're single. And you're praying they're <laughs> single. Absolutely. So maybe Absolutely. church is the way. Speaking of praying, yeah. maybe church is the place to go if you share I mean, the same faith. <laughs> maybe? No? Okay. No, yes. All right, well, then we'll just. So you have this relationship card. Yes. Case, right? Yes, absolutely. So can you tell us about it? Yes. So I have a two deck card relationship game that focuses on navigating past pain and trauma mm. and conversation starters for couples on sex and relationships. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to hone in on the past pain and trauma because so often we go into a relationship, we have our representative, right? People don't tell you about the issues they had previously, mm -hmm. but that is important to having a successful relationship. So when we have these conversations with the car, I can learn how to support you. Mm -hmm. You can learn how to support me when I'm triggered. You can learn the things that kind of make me tick and the little quirks in our personalities that we don't always see when you first meet someone. Mm -hmm. And then with the sex and relationship, that conversation, we want to know what are you into? What do you like? So often people connect and then they find out you're not into what I'm into and mm. are you willing to learn? Because if you're not willing to learn, then we don't need to take this any further because like we don't want to run into the infidelity. When do you introduce that card game? I j it just came out on. No, but I mean when in you're a in a dating situation. So it's a game. So you say, hey. Right in the very beginning, yeah, first date. Look, it's very, it's non-intrusive. 
right? It's a game. Yeah. And so let's play this card game. What do you think about speed dating? Do you think it's like a uh, farce? <laughs> Look at her face. Yeah. I think yeah. that was your answer right there. <laughs> you know what? I, the whole speed dating thing, because I'm like, a person of purpose, do they really have time for that? Right. You know, do they really? The people, that's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. Do they really have time? So there again, I think if we focus more on doing the work within ourselves, mm -hmm. we will connect with the right person. All right, Chanel. I like, come on back, okay? Yes. You gotta come on back. We should do a thing He's gonna with you try to take some of your advice too. Good stuff, really good stuff. Give me Thank that game. You. <laughs> uh, you can follow her on Instagram at Chanel Nicole Scott. Make sure you follow her for all the good tips.